We are live, guys. We are live. Welcome to another episode of Cryptocurrents. The show comes to you every day live at noon Central Eastern European time. Because you know it, right? Noon time is moon time, ladies and gents. Welcome. I am your host, Mike Williams. Smash the likes, subscribe and hit that bell button to follow along with the show and spread the word so that we can all get more educated in the crypto space. So let's go, let's go. Today we will discuss Bitcoin, what is going on there a little bit um, and I have some interesting things to share with you on that re in that regards. Then I also want to talk about Solana and about all the hype that is going on right now and we will, it's going to be a very interesting show, I can definitely guarantee you that and then in the end we will do a Q&A uh, and cl uh, close off to answer any uh, questions so there's time for discussions uh, debates you know can be about anything uh, related to the show you know or to the crypto space so uh, type it out in the chat we'll pick them up and uh, address them at the end of the show and of course if something catches my eye in the in the meantime there that, that i can nicely hook into that that's going to be great as well uh bitcoin bitcoin so <laughs> I want to say something about triangles and why they do not work. Let me switch over to the chart right away, right? At the moment, Bitcoin, Bitcoin is still in a major bull market. There's just simply no denial about it. How can we be so sure that we are still in a bull market? As we have seen a lot, a lot of people shorting Bitcoin yesterday straight into support straight into support as we had some important news coming out regarding to the inflation uh, data which is a little bit more suited for day trading rather than the larger time frame it doesn't really affect the larger time frame whatsoever at all um, you know you can agree with me you can disagree with me but simply as a trader that uh, i myself i have been trading for six more years I know that this is fact, so it doesn't matter what anybody's opinion about this is, that is just how it is. It is short-term volatility, and in the end, the overall sentiment is always, always leading, uh, and we are simply in, uh, still in an uptrend, despite the fact that in, within that trend, right? So let me draw that out, actually, for you guys. Let's start off with some, with some, with some higher time frame, basic technical analysis, and also let me explain you what why too basic of technical analysis just simply doesn't work. It's going to blow your mind and you will understand why you need to get educated in this space and why you need to be educated because otherwise you are going to be part of the of the literally 100 millions of shorts that got wrecked. At the same time, longs also got wrecked. 100 million worth of longs all in a single day. You do not want to be that person that simply just trades just because what they hear what they what they read in the news but you want to use your own mind your own brain and make your own decisions right and that is exactly what happened yesterday because 90 percent of people that are attempting to trade the markets across the board this is not only in crypto it is across the board are simply when a news item comes out they immediately like recita style 100x long, 100x short, basically, um, and that is not what you're supposed to do if you want to be. If you want to be, you know, even if you're an investor, not necessarily a day trader, you want to be that person that that is able to do this over an extended period of time, right? That is what you need to do, and um, you know. So without going too much off topic on this, in the end, we are in a in a bull trend. Uh, coming off of a very large uptrend since 2023 without without stops pretty much we did see some consolidation right in some sections and we have a similar section going on here right now now this is the tricky part where where obviously a lot of people can struggle with because it's not difficult to come to this conclusion like oh we're consolidating we're going sideways all right but what is the first thing that people are actually starting to to look at they look at patterns for example they look at triangles and to my surprise even traders that i used to respect quite a bit in the past are looking at these kind of uh, triangles as well so you know at the last few weeks the whole wide world the entire world was looking at the formation of a triangle 
only for us to obviously not respect that triangle in the longer run. And you know when this is the whole issue with news and with, with um, how would I put it? Not thinking and making decisions for yourself by not being educated. If the whole world, and even there's headlines out here, Bitcoin may rally to $80,000 on a triangle break to the upside, right? You know, if the whole world is looking at that, what can literally go wrong? Of course, we literally traded through it, you know, and then failed to stay there, boom, back in the triangle, had a really massive carnage, topping all everything off with the, with the inflation data coming in on yesterday. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why it doesn't work and it, it's just not useful. And the reason why, why do I say this? Why do I say this, right? Why do I say this after we broke out of a triangle and, uh, and then gotten back into it, right? Simply put, this level is just not being respected at all. It faked out to the upside, it faked out to the downside. And of course you will see some, uh, a lot of people trying to save their, save their butts here by saying like, oh yeah, but I'm looking at it on a, on a higher time frame, you know? On a higher time frame, it's still a triangle. Yeah, all right, but if you are looking to make decisions, putting your money on the line, do you want to get in at the very high? Yes, or do you want to short, let's say, get really scared at the very lows? That is not what you want to do. It is your hard earned money that you're putting into play. Therefore, this triangle is simply not valid. And I'm, it is only a matter of time, you know, I will be scouring the internet. Well, actually I won't, you know, because I have better things to do. But you will start seeing now adjusted triangles. And that makes it literally so incredibly arbitrary that it just doesn't work. You know, I can bend, you can bend the rules at your will with these kind of patterns with these triangles you know you, you can just force fit everything and say uh, you know in hindsight like you see i was right after all it was a triangle we are breaking out right well at the same time the question is like okay great it's great that you're recognizing a pattern that the whole world is looking at that's great absolutely great but what does it mean if it actually breaks out what does it mean if it actually backtests what does it mean if we break back inside you know that is where the educational part comes in and you need to learn i can't say this enough you need to learn what this is all about and get rid of all these dumb patterns because they don't work anymore they they were invented in the in the 1920s in the 1930s when the markets were not crowded where there's just a select few of people just trading the markets and that that's when they worked now nowadays they don't work anymore they just don't instead you can simply use technical analysis right better technical <laughs> analysis and only i'm showing you here only fibonacci that's it that's all there's no confluence whatsoever there's really nothing going on aside here, but uh, you know there is a golden pocket over here. We dropped back down. All that we did was hit that level very, very precisely. This is technical analysis that does work because it's constructed with a philosophy behind it. As you can see, boom, boom, boom. Topping out uh, or bottoming out over here. And then we have a bounce. Look at where we are stalling once again. This, ladies and gentlemen, is just a small example of good quality, high quality technical analysis. Of course, there's way more tools that you can be teaching about and that you can be learning about, better said. Uh, and then if you combine them, you become, you become a god. <laughs> you, become a, you, you become a technical analysis god. And that can help you make proper trading decisions. All right, that is what I wanted to start off with. Why triangles do not work in technical analysis. But obviously we have a lot more uh, to discover. Let me check this off because, you know, I should, I should now put this on my list here. Mike Rand ended. It now ended. It ended. <laughs> so um, let's talk about... Uh, let's talk about Solana. Solana has been, in my opinion, performing extremely well. Very interesting what has been happening over the last, let's say, seven months or so. Um, as, it, as it completely led the entire meme coin hype. 
it, it completely obliterated uh, any other uh, meme coin whatsoever. Solana is and has been the place to be leading the chart, um, leading leading the charts and the charge when it comes to to meme coins. Simply put, and you know, I, I'm not gonna lie, I have been quite laughing quite hard because of all the weird names you know like dog with with hat dog with hat bonk book of meme geo geo bowden cat in a dog's world you know great names it's really uh, it's very funny uh i have no idea why they are so popular but hey they are and they are most of them are performing or are actually on the Solana chain. And that, you know, made Solana obviously uh, do really well over the last over the last few months or so. And that is what I want to talk about today. Because, you know, let's discuss a little bit on what what are these meme coins and tokens and what is where do they come from? And do they actually have any value? And if so, uh, and you know what? What can we think about it? What is what should be our opinion on it? Is is it actually uh, does it matter, or can we still look to profit uh, in between? And what I'm trying to say here is not every project has to be fundamentally great. If you are a trader and if you can read charts and if you are able to catch onto new trends, right? Then you can easily profit from let's say the short term trends such as meme coins by for example trading it or investing in it or doing some uh, swapping it on decentralized exchanges whatsoever um and then you know keep your investments in the project that you do believe in that you do think will perform well in the long run it can definitely be a strategy however of course like we are now at the dawn in my opinion of new all-time highs we are consolidating around it we do have the halving around the corner on bitcoin and uh, traditionally and historically speaking uh, the time that follows thereafter you know, probably leading into the summer, maybe autumn, is usually um, very green. <laughs> and usually also a time where a lot of uh, altcoins are going up and a lot of new trends emerge, which is the reason why I'm doing this show, you know, which is the reason. So we can learn and we can, we can make something out of this run uh, going forward. So... But if this is your first cycle, very much welcome to the show, right? If you're just tuning in, the show is called Cryptocurrents. Leave a like and subscribe. Every day we go live here at noon Central Eastern European time, right? So, and if you are new, and if you don't know really what, what are these me what are meme coins in the first place, let, let me just get you up to speed before we dive into depth. Let me just get you up to speed real quick. So the history of meme coins is relatively recent in, you know, and it's tied closely to the emergence of, uh, you know, crypto essentially and the whole culture surrounding internet memes. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, is the crypto uh, currency scene and space an expert on creating memes we are expert guys i personally i love them <laughs> not gonna lie i do have a lot of fun with them it is definitely my type of humor absolutely true and uh, not too much though especially when you know f when, when 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 i'm in a serious environment obviously that's not the case but i, I do enjoy a good meme Absolutely, right? And I'm sure that 90% of the cryptocurrency space uh, is also enjoying memes quite a bit. So, you know, if you think about it, it does make sense that this kind of trend does emerge. Because what is crypto? It only happens on the internet. And what do crypto crypto bros, we are the crypto bro, what do crypto bros and chads do all day while they wait for their coin to pump 100x in price? They create memes. So why not create a meme token instead, right? If you think about it, not a, not pretty logical, pretty logical idea. And uh, that is exactly what Billy Marcus and Jackson Palmer did in 2013 already. They launched Dogecoin. Dogecoin. Fe it featured, uh, featured, the fe featured, featured the Shiba Inu dog from the popular Doge meme as its logo, right? So um, despite its origins, literally just started out as a joke, uh, Dogecoin did quickly gain a lot of traction and developed quite, quite a hardcore community. 
you know, the, the meme community. And uh, that is why it became very successful. And that kind of was the, the beginning of the whole meme coin kind of thing, right? It is already quite long ago. But over time, more of those currencies came out. Meme inspired branding and themes to they started to surface and uh, you know they they try to you know have a have a, have a piece of the pie and uh, you know jumping on trends on social media hype etc. Um, however, <laughs> the question can be like what's the value really? What is really the value of meme coins? It's literally just a meme. It's literally just a meme. It, there's no project, nothing. It's literally just for fun. So. This also, this will function as a risk warning at the same time. If you are attempting to trade meme coins, be very careful of the risk, right? These are very volatile. They can go up really fast and they can go down even faster, right? So while it, you know, have fun while it lasts, I would say be aware that it is, there, there's no project real, really behind it. It's literally just community driven. And that is what you should uh, very much be aware of, right? So the prices are often driven by cloud, really, rather than the actual underlying technology or utility, right? However, some meme coins do have some sort of um, use case or use case. They do have some technical relevance. I'll get to that in a second. But, um, you know, so some, some meme coins have, have seen like thousands of percent increases while literally others have li literally gone to zero. So be aware of that. Be aware of that. A little bit later, I'm going to talk about how you can find them and how you can trade them. Right. So, but we'll we'll get to that in a uh, in a second. Overall, to conclude this whole origin story, meme coins essentially represent a niche within crypto that that uses internet culture to grant to gain popularity and uh, fuel the hype. Essentially, that is essentially what is going on. And um, you know, for the last six seven months or so, it really has taken off. It really has taken off. Uh, especially because of the Solana chain. Now, the thing is that there are different type of meme, co meme coins over here. On Solana, there are actually two types of meme coins, right? We call them SPL tokens, the Solana program library tokens. They are simply digital assets with a standard set of functionality, uh, right? So this is called the uh, so, uh, SPL is essentially a meme coin, right? And they can be they can be subdivided into uh, into two different things. So we have the SPL, and then we have the token twenty two, the super tokens, and that's very interesting to me personally, right? And that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Token twenty two, or in other words, it's called super tokens, is a token program built on Solana, defining a common impl implementation for fungible and non fungible tokens. Essentially, pretty much the same as ERC-20. What it means, what does that mean? Well, essentially, you uh, you use the Solana chain and you just put your coin on top of it and you're using the smart contracts on Solana, essentially, right? So that, that is what it, what it means. But this program is also allowing developers to create coins and tokens with some functionality. Uh, and that, you know, it obviously increases um, the ease of use, essentially. The most interesting super token extensions. So th this is the thing. They can you can put they can put extensions on it, right? On these token 22. If they are built on that, then they they can include extensions. And um, some of these really interesting ones are transfer fees. A token can only be traded when you pay a specific rate, for example. Or it can also be that a token becomes more valuable the longer you just simply hold it. Right, it it just literally just simply is like that, or um, you 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 soul bind it, which means that you just have the token and you cannot do anything with it. <laughs> you can simply not do anything with it. Th this do they all do have potential use cases, right? They do have potential use cases. For example, if you want if you want to have security on your system, you don't necessarily wanna want want to be susceptible to pump and dump schemes, for example. And that is how you can, you know, use that, use soul binding, where you can say like, okay, if you really believe in my project, prove it, you know, buy my coin and use the soul binding, you know, or which is obviously automatically implemented. And that also generates a little bit of trust in a, uh, in a specific system. So if you think about it, it's pretty interesting, pretty interesting. Um, 
you know, uh, I see here in the chat, Sol will outperform Ethereum this cycle. Yeah, I, I do agree, and I will I will highlight this in a second as well. Um, but moving on, uh, yeah, Mimo, this is not this is not new. So th this is this is what they can also do. You can essentially add a note to a transaction, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? Um, and it uh, prevents uh, an immutability. So it also prevents your token ownership from being transferred. So maybe you can rent it out, borrow it out, lend it or something like that, but you cannot really say like, okay, you can actually have it. It's, it's kind of like derivatives, if you think about it. It's kind of like derivatives where, you know, maybe a, a token that derives its value from its original while, you, while it says on a paper that, okay, it's worth this amount. Right, it's called a derivative. That's that's what we trade in futures, for example. What, what I personally trade every single day. I am a d derivatives trader because you can use leverage. You can also go long and short, which you cannot necessarily do on spot. That is why I trade that way myself. So, um, but the point being here is. This suggests, though, this does suggest that there might actually be some use case in meme tokens. And, uh, of course, we have our master uh, Elon Musk, you know, praising, praising some of these meme coins in the past, right? Um, and at the time... At the time, it did a lot of things with price. It gave huge fluctuations at the time. It pumped a lot and it dumped a lot whenever Elon Musk made a tweet, as as in any market. He's known for this. He's done it even with his own stock, you know, tweet, tweeting about Tesla. Simply just <laughs> simply just pumping his own stock, essentially. He, he did get sued by the SEC as well. But uh, that is why, personally, I like Elon Musk. Uh, because uh, he, he, he doesn't like uh, the SEC either, right? And uh, he delivered, <laughs> he just pisses them off. So, uh, but, uh, you know, the fact that he is, obviously, it's a joke. It's a, it's a joke, especially at that time. But if you think about it, the utility that does come potentially with meme coins makes me you know makes it acceptable to think like okay it's kind of it, it is a meme and it is meant as a joke but it does portray right it does portray that you know obviously Elon Musk is not is not is very smart is very intelligent man so obviously he he did saw potential even though it was a meme at the time it now has transformed into something uh, better. Uh, perhaps it even inspired people to, you know, to do create utility on this kind of stuff. So, you know, uh, there's just, just something to, to think about, some food for thought here. And uh, now let's move on to Solana. Solana has been leading the charts. Uh, Solana has definitely been leading the charts. Uh, it has performed very, 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 very well uh, recently. Um, as a matter of fact, it, you know, I see already here uh, in the chat uh, some people saying here, like, Solana will outperform ETH this cycle. Um, yes, they, it already did. It already did. If we simply just look and take a measurement of how Ethereum has performed, this is the Ethereum chart, right? Let me actually just hide this stuff. This is not necessary for the point that I am trying to make here. What if we just simply measure it out from low to high? We can see that okay, Ethereum has simply like risen, let's say, 360 uh, percent up till now from its bottom until its high. Um, then from November last year to now, it has done a 160 percent increase. If we literally just simply correlate this to Solana, right? Solana is already like super close to all time highs, super close. Way closer than Ethereum, to be fair. Uh, but percentage-wise, in terms of like growth, Solana has already done like nearly 2,500% in the meantime, whereas Ethereum obviously has done a lot less, right? And then at the same time, it is also quickly, quickly, quickly uh, rising through the ranks uh, of the uh, in its market cap as well. I mean, right now, Solana is the top five coin, right, um, of, of everything. It's 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 just up there. It's out there. It's up there. You know, we have Bitcoin at number one, obviously Ethereum at number two, which ha it has been for ages now. And then we have like the stable coin. Uh, we have uh, BNB, you know, Binance Chain coin, and we have Solana here at five. So definitely a huge uh, huge thing. And meme coins are a huge factor in that regard. They're a huge factor in that regard. So. Meme coins, 
how can we potentially look for meme coins and you know maybe benefit from it this is where we are going to transition into the topic of how to get in involved in them right and i will do a disclaimer here this is risky and this is can definitely go up really fast and go down really fast right so keep that in mind keep your risk management in check and uh, you know this is definitely not financial advice but i do want to talk about how can you go about this there's two ways you can go about it either you trade it on decentralized exchanges or you use centralized exchanges right um, let me start off with decentralized exchange if you are interested in it i'm not going to cover it in depth but you can see something you can use a tool something like dexscreener.com it is actually a really nice website um, but you do have to know what you're doing decentralized exchanges are functioning vastly different than normal exchanges so you do need to know quite a bit about how blockchain works you need to know about transaction fees you need to know about gas fees you need to know about all of that whereas centralized exchanges do take care of that for you and are often a lot a lot cheaper however if you're interested in spotting like you know these kind of coins then deck screener is one where you can select them on the protocol for example you can select solana here you can see all the stuff that's going on on the solana uh thing and as you can see there's there's just so 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 much on them so how are you going to find out the ones that you want to trade well that those are going to be dependent on the parameters that you set for yourself and the way that you can do that is clicking on filters and here you can set your filters and as you can see you know this is interesting definitely uh, uh check it out it's quite a nice website but i will once again say if you are not um educated or if you are don't really know how to use the de decentralized exchanges focus on learning that first before you attempt to trade on these kind of uh, on these kind of platforms right now the second one so um if you know what you're doing, it's completely fine. I would say uh, I personally do not use this at all. I do not use this at all. If you prefer to trade on centralized exchanges, however, like myself, uh, it's simply because it's a lot easier, it's cheaper, and while it's still risky, the good thing about this is that there has been some sort of selection process going on for them to be listed especially on the exchanges i use and that is why i would recommend and by the way also uh, doing a nice shout out to our sponsor of this show tubit tubit is my favorite exchange i love it a lot um you can trade spot futures long short you can use leverage you can do you know you can do anything you want here it depending on your risk profile you can you can trade it all you can trade it all really and what they also do what i really like let me show you here if you click on trade it uh, will bring me to the spot section right and you can actually do select the meme coins now as you can see um uh, tubit is including a lot of altcoins every single day uh but the selection especially on meme coins as you can see the selection their selection process is uh, quite thorough and that is an extra layer of security uh in my opinion that that can definitely help um you know lower that risk uh, a little bit while the meme coins can definitely be very volatile they can move up move up really fast they can move down extremely fast you know trading them on centralized exchanges uh, is just that extra little sense of uh, uh, security layer that uh, you know prevents you from essentially getting scammed <laughs> you know you know so uh, i would highly recommend that if if you want to trade much more than that then uh, i recommend using bitget it is uh, it is a larger exchange and they have uh, they have a wider selection available on meme coins um if you want to get some benefits from trading on these exchanges use the description use the links the affiliate links in the description below in this video right or you can find them here in the banner below 
in this screen over here and uh, you can get going and you can get some nice benefits on 2bit you can get uh, you can get a welcome bonus uh, nine thousand six hundred and forty dollars and on bitget you can get 15 percent off fees so uh, yeah don't uh, you know sa save up some extra extra cash as trading can be expensive enough already um, so I highly recommend that um, all right, moving on, moving on, moving on. Now I want to get into, after I take a sip of my water, how do I look at meme coins? What makes a meme coin a good meme coin to trade, right? So let me introduce you to something that I think is very interesting, right? Because we do this show, we learn about blockchain, we learn about crypto, but we are also traders here, right? So why not make good use of it? If you want to learn more about trading, join Trive Labs, by the way. That is really where we will be trading these meme coins and you get updated in real time as well on its progress. Okay, so here, I'm here on CoinJacko. Very similar to CoinMarketCap, you know, but um, yeah, <laughs> essentially the same. But what they have, they have categories and they have their meme coin categories and they also have their Solana meme coin categories. So this is the thing, like what, what do you want to look for? And this is where I think it really gets interesting. Market cap and trading volume. If you are looking to trade these kind of coins, if you're looking to trade these kind of coins, this is what you want to be aware of. You want to be aware of, of, of its market cap. You don't want it to be low. You know, if you have, let's say, a meme coin that did a thousand percent, but um, let me scroll down. L let's say it had literally 1,000 or $1 million market cap. You know, it's going to be very interesting. A and <laughs> it's, it's most likely going to be really difficult to trade. Even difficult to trade it with, let's say, 50 bucks, right? So you want to be aware of the market cap and you want to be aware of the 24-hour volume. If the market cap is, let's say, super, super low, right? It does imply that it has space to grow, but if it doesn't have any volume, if, it, if there's no transaction, then simply what it means is price is just very susceptible to dump and pump, pump and dump schemes. If you need so little volume to move a market, right? You, you know, let's say, let's say if a real trader comes in into desk into in and starts trading sin dao right and you know he has bigger bags than uh, he has a bigger wallet than anybody that has traded this up till now it's uh you know it's <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a wild ride for this coin right so that's what you want to be aware of you you want to you want to see that obviously uh and you want to uh yeah you know simply be aware of that so going off of there selecting this on 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 this right now so let's we can look at the number one for example what are the stats here um uh, all right so the numbering here i notice now is not is not actually uh, allocated to the to to this category but probably overall right so that's not useful but market cap is so what do what do we want to do okay so we have dog with dog with hat dog with hat dog with hat <laughs> Honestly, it's very funny. <laughs> it is very funny. It is very funny. Uh, am I invested in any meme coins? Well, no, I, I kind of trade them, uh, but I don't invest in meme coins because I personally think it's just a bunch of gibberish and it's just a local and, and temporary hype. They don't hold any intrinsic value. Uh, it, when when it comes to investing, when we talk about the term investing, for me, that is a, that is a time horizon of, of anywhere between three to 10 years. Meme coins, what can I say? <laughs> what can I say? So trading it is, not investing. But trading, yes. Uh, you know, there are definitely um, periods of time where I trade uh, meme coins. As a matter of fact, I'm, I am trading meme coins uh, because I think it's interesting. So, you know, for example, Dog with Hat can be an interesting contender, right? Because it has a uh, quite quite a decent a decent market cap. It is actually on number thirty seven, <laughs> quite surprisingly, and it does have five hundred and fifteen million volume in twenty four hours. Now that means that this coin is actually quite liquid, right? It's traded a lot. A lot of people are just you know buying, selling, buying, selling, uh, which which makes it very tradable, very tradable. Now the next thing that you want to be aware of 
right? Let me switch over the screen. The next thing that you want to be aware of is the is the percentage changes, right? Because if if it didn't change, let's say for at all, if it only moved like one percent over the last seven days, yeah, you know, then it's obviously a little bit of a dead coin, right? So that's that's the third factor that you want to put into in, into into play. If you're trading, if you are a trader, price doesn't matter. That's what I always say also to to my students, you know, in the over at Thrive Labs in the in the community, in the trading community that we run. I couldn't care less if let's say Bitcoin is trading at one dollar or at two hundred thousand dollars. For me, I can just come in, I can do my technical analysis, I know my methodology that I teach to everyone else, and uh, I can just come in any any single day. The price that something is trading at absolutely doesn't matter. Hopefully this is helpful for, uh, for you. Now, obviously we can also look at, uh, you know, so this is basically how you make a selection. You know, we can we can keep it long, we can keep it short, but I think this is everything you need to know for now. Now, if you if that makes you interested in looking for a potential setup, then what you can do, you can simply click on it. You know, if you're interested, you can you know watch uh, watch some uh, hype and clout about it, blah blah blah. Uh, you know, you can <laughs> do your thing, do your thing, whatever makes your boat float. And uh, the most importantly is, okay, where can I trade it? Right? Where can I trade it? Right? For example, like I mentioned before, here you can trade it on uh, on on Bitget, for example. So that would be my exchange of choice, and I would simply pick that one to trade it on, and uh, you know just uh, just go for it. And also, you want to see which exchange has the most volume. Personally, I dislike Binance quite a lot, uh, so I don't use it. Uh, but for example, Bitget is my main exchange uh, in that regards. Or you know, I have two main exchanges: two Bit and Bitget. That's what I trade on. And at the moment, I don't need anything else. So that is what I do. So this is where you can simply trade it. You click on it, boom, and it instantly takes you to that particular page. Bam, there you go. You see, this is how the interface looks like on BitGet. Really nice. Uh, I like their user interface as well. Really nice. And uh, here, there you go. You can trade it. This is obviously the one minute chart, so it looks like it's super bearish, but obviously you can just scale up in time frame. And uh, you know, do do whatever you prefer to do. As you can see, this is on the spot uh, on the spot part. But if you want to go to futures, right? Then you simply click on futures, and you know, there you can trade it. So enough of that. Uh, that is all you needed to know for now. Uh, let's do an ad and let's have a conversation. Let me uh, let me take a look at the chat in the meantime. Trading the markets is hard but not impossible. The key to become a successful trader is to have a system and a methodology in place. The biggest problem, however, is where to start. With so much information out there, how can you possibly know what works and what doesn't? We have made it our mission to solve this problem once and for all by making it easy to start out the right way. That's why we've crafted a nice cheat sheet that helps you understand whether a market trend is strong or is losing momentum. Simply click the link in the description below this video, fill in your email address on this website, and you will receive a high resolution cheat sheet that helps you understand what is going on when the markets move fast for free. But what if I would tell you that we don't stop there? We have built an ecosystem where you can learn the theory step by step in our academy. From the very basics to technical analysis that actually works to covering aspects of trading you rarely hear about. And that is not all. What if you could also get guidance, put everything you have learned into practice and stay updated on market movements in real time? Our portal gives you access to frequent market updates, a very helpful community full of traders in our Discord, and tons of helpful resources. Thrive Labs breaks down very complex information and delivers it to you in easy to follow steps. Join us today and turn your losing trades into profitable ones. All right, all right. Good morning, good morning. Out of tracks, good morning, my friends. Let me know where you are all based. Currently, I am actually based in the Netherlands, Europe. Um, uh, not always, but uh, right now, for the time being, I am. Um, so let me know, let me know, guys. Let me know what time it is for you guys. For me, it is right now. It's noon, so it's it's lunch time, which is the reason. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, coffee time. Coffee time for me. Show time for me. And uh, hopefully, uh, lunchtime for you guys as well. Noon is moon. Noon is moon. Let's keep that one in, right? Shall we? Um, 
let's say Doge to one dollars this cycle. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I mean, let let's let's just for fun. Let's take a quick look at that, right? If we if we you start using the information that that I just mentioned, right? So let me switch over. Uh, Doge. <coughs> let me see. Let me see if if what you're saying actually makes sense. So it's 19 cents right now. Hmm. Okay. What's the market cap? So yeah, so th so this is what you wanna wanna be aware of. Like we are we are here talking about a market cap of already uh, twenty eight billion. Am I saying that right? Let me double check this. Let me double check this. Yes, twenty eight billion. Oops, twenty eight billion. So you know you have to think about this. Uh, obviously, we are talking about technicals, but you know when when these kind of uh, price targets, yeah, you, ha you have to think like, okay, well, how much? Does this need to it, it first of all it has an infinite supply. You know, not trying to break break your bubble, but I'm being realistic here. There's there's a few steps that you need to take and think about. This literally needs to grow five times. Five times would make for over a hundred billion market cap. It's possible, it's possible, right? If they don't print more coins all the time, for example, it's possible. It is possible. But, you know, those are the questions that you need to think and, and ask yourself. Like, okay, what are, the, what are the chances that we are going to grow that large in, in the next bull cycle? It doesn't, doesn't make sense. doesn't make sense. You, we are talking here about, you know, um, huge market cap we are talking about over a hundred billion uh, market cap and if we simply look at at right now we are trading here at all-time highs right at all-time high region and you know we we you know even tether doesn't have that market cap so that's something you definitely do need to keep in mind. So, you know, then the whole industry needs to grow at least 10 times. That would mean that Bitcoin alone, right? Bitcoin alone would need at least a 13 trillion or uh, 6 trillion, sorry, 6 trillion market cap. You know, so th those are the, s the, the, the type of stuff that you need to do take into consideration, right? Th that's the type of stuff that you do need to take into consideration. Um, Right. So, um, by the way, I will say that uh, requests on altcoins, uh, I will, I will, I will not do. Um, you know, I will not do because I never know. I never know the source of where this request comes from. Maybe somebody just wants me want, wants to pump and dump their altcoin. That's why I don't do requests from public uh, YouTube chats. Uh, so that's that's you know that. So you know that. Full disclaimer here. Full transparency. Uh, you know, and I will be transparent about you know anything that I'm doing whether I'm personally invested in something or not, or, you know, if I cover something on a stream, you know, and, uh, you know, even, even if there's some form of compensation involved in the future for whatever, I will definitely disclose it. So this is all about transparency. It's all about education and, um, you know, that, that's what it's about guys. So I will say that I will say that and it will stay that way. That will never change. Um, 5 40 AM over here, 5 40 Portugal, 5.40 a.m., so that is about four hours away. Wow, interesting. Um, oh, that's in the morning then. Wow, my friend, you're up very early. Warrior, <laughs> true warrior. Nice. Um, Mike, you're Dutch. How are you still trading on BitGet? My account was frozen. Yeah, so obviously, uh, you know, the uh, the European Union has um, stra stra tightening up, tightening up, the regulations. So if you're if you're if you just have a Dutch passport, there's not much you can do. You cannot trade on Bitget anymore, and that is why I recommend two bit. It's no KYC, right? It's not even KYC. You don't have to do any of that. So you just make an account. You click on the affiliate link below, right? You get you get your welcome bonus. You deposit some cash, and boom, you're off trading. It works exactly the same as the exchange that you've already used prior to that. Um, so highly recommend it. I've been using it for extended amount of time now, and I use it myself each and every day, which is the reason why I recommend this personally to you to use it. Um, so, uh, what is your long-term target for Bitcoin? Maybe you're looking at, uh, Elliott waves. Yes, I do look, I actually did a one and a half hour long stream, but that is, uh, done in Thrive Labs. That's where the trading education really comes, uh, comes in. 
right? So that is where I uh, where I do dedicated videos on that. I recently actually did a two hour, nearly two hour video on the Bitcoin super macro cycle and also updated it with the latest information uh, and have my uh, have my price targets in uh, in 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 check there. Um, I'm not gonna shout out random targets here on this public live stream, but simply for the reason because it would take time to explain. We would sit here till tomorrow and just me talking about a target without you be understanding why that is a target simply doesn't make sense to me. So, you know, that that is why it's not there. That is why that is being done in the trading community where we focus on 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 um, building traders. We build traders. We build traders. What we do there is we help you take the next step in that journey, right? What do you need to take the next step? And, you know, we, we, we coach you, we help you, and we, we fo- f- nurture that mindset into trading so that eventually you can make your own informed decisions based on what you can read in the market. So, uh, yeah, guys. Um, I think I even actually did a public video on that. Uh, I don't know. I see some people in the chat. Uh, check it out. Check it out. Read the chat. Uh, I forgot if I made it if I made it uh, uh, public within the Trive Labs community or not. I don't. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Maybe somebody else in the chat can help you. Uh, help help a brother in need, guys. Help a brother in need. Um, <laughs> so you know, hope, hopefully that makes all sense. We're like, why I don't shout out targets like that? Uh, because it does require explanation. Um, uh, t-t-t-tum, t-t-tum. Let me see. Thanks, but how are you still trading on there? Um, well, uh, I, I have multiple passports, right? Because I, I, my core nationality is not necessarily Dutch, right? So that is why. <laughs> you know, uh, and, and more, more. That that's all. That's all I can say uh, at the moment about it. Um, no alt requests, no target. Yeah, okay. So we, um, you know, guys, guys, guys. So what I do want to say, like, it's it's always, it's always we, alt requests. I have a program that where I'm sharing things that I think are relevant, right? Uh, alt requests, I've never done that. I've never, ever done that. If you follow other trading channels, you, you know, you will see and you will notice that most of your, m- probably th- these kind of comments even are going to be ignored, right? I even addressed them already, right? So that's already different. Um, so let me be very clear on that. Um, I'm, I'm not doing altcoin requests, right? I'm not doing that, especially not in a public chat. But I will, you know, focus on uh, on 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 opportunities that I do see that are lying ahead, and you know we covered we covered meme coins, we covered everything, and uh, I think that's uh, it's a great way to go forward, right? So um, there we go, there we go. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. I truly enjoyed it. Thank you for uh, for tuning in. Tomorrow is another day with new crypto compass of a <laughs> sorry <laughs> crypto currents crypto currents. Um, I truly enjoyed it. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for joining in. Let me know in the comments or in the chat below uh, what what did you think uh, of this episode. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm ready for tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow, new day, new opportunities, new prices, and uh, there we go. Cheers, guys, and have a good one. Bye. 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 Bye.